Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are back with the penguin tutorial. If you did not see this, the original will be up here. We have got a problem. When I went to print this, I'll hit T for transparent. They fused together and it would not open. I have got a new strategy. Let me show you how quickly we can switch it. So the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup this. I'm also going to hide it for a second. That shows us our cutout area and I am just going to flat out delete both of those. I've still got my ring. Notice I did take the ring and I moved it below zero. This ends up being kind of nice for projects later. So since it was 10, right now I'll hit D to drop. You can move it down any number, but then just type negative 10 so it's exactly below the project and then lock it so it stays there. So if I do show all, we've got this locked penguin in place and find the cone. This is gonna be what saves our bacon. We want a base radius of 20. We want a top radius of 16 and press enter. Set your height to five and make your sides maximized. Turn that into a hole. See when this hole gets pushed in, the plug won't be able to fit through. Control D, move it over here for your plug, make it a solid, and then we're gonna change its measurements by one. So instead of 16, it'll be 15. Instead of 20, it'll be 19. Keep the five, keep the sides. Now we need more material. If we do T for transparent, because I wanted this to print fast, we've only got two millimeters. Check out the more material trick. Once again, control D. This time we're gonna turn it into a solid and we're gonna add two to each. So 18 and 22. So we've got more material, the cutout and the plug. Notice the plug is gonna fit in there really nice when it's all done. Now for this to twist and lock, we need the rectangle. Of course, bring out a rectangle, change this measurement to four. If We look at our shape here, you can see it is 40. So we're gonna make this 40, and then we can keep all that height. So we're just going to do shift select, L for align, this is the boss, group, and group. Now we wanna make sure this cuts all the way through this, so we are gonna change that height to 5.1. With that done, Control G, and then we're going to shift select these two and the pink one, L for align with the pink one, the boss, middle and middle to get your parts in place. Now when we select those shapes, notice there are three of them. I did not grab the pink one, and we can group it that easily. So we've got our little part that is gonna push up and then eventually lock. And with that done, I wanna go to the height of this and let's make it 5.2 just so we've got some clearance. And now that we've got that done, let's add the locking mechanism. This time I'm gonna just do it with a rectangle. 3.5 should poke it through. Let's see what it looks like if we type 36 for this distance and 2.5 for this. Once again, just less printing time. L for a line, and we want it to be center and center. Now we just need to add the easy way to spin it. Once again, bring out a cylinder hole. Let's shift stretch it, type the number 10. We're gonna make that three millimeters up. Do control D, and let's do shift nudge. So there's one, two shift nudges, grab those two and group them. Of course, select them all, L for a line, purple's the boss, middle and middle. Group that all, control G. If we look at it with the mirror tool, bingo, you can see we've got nice areas that we're gonna be able to twist. And if we flip it back, I'm gonna make it a funky color. And let's do a shift select, L for a line, pink is the boss, middle, middle, and it is ready for 3D printing. Just like that, we have fixed our penguin bank, and it's time to send it for 3D printing. 
And here we are, friends. Just finished. Pops through. Takes a little bit of force to get it out. That's pretty darn slick. If you printed this before I fixed that, I do apologize. Hopefully now, everybody has success. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.